Hey, it's Baker, and I got another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Vertigo effect in After Effects. Basically, it's a dolly zoom, like a dolly shot where the camera is either moving away or towards an object and the lens is zooming. So, what you need is a clip. Drag that on. That looks like this. I got terminal right here, and it zooms in towards this ladder. Now my ladder is going to be my main object, which you want to stay about the same size while the background changes. And I've used this in my previous montage. So I'm going to skip to right where it starts moving, right about here. And you want to set a keyframe for the scale. And then go to the end of the clip, right about here, where it kind of stops moving or where you want to look normal. And then so you go back and you want to zoom in quite a bit, maybe about there. So when you go through this, the main object re relatively stays the same size, but the background changes and looks pretty nice. But you got to be careful because the further the camera moves, the more distorted these pixels will get right in the beginning and it won't look as sharp. So you could add a quick sharpen and it won't look that good but you know something like that and to make it more dramatic I found a nice little way um, press R to get the rotation set a keyframe and where's my other keyframe right about there and what I did was set the keyframe the first keyframe to about negative five degrees and the last one to five degrees so it kind of tilts as it's zooming in a little more dramatic you might need to fix the scale so you don't get the black so it's like something like that and maybe you want to add a little camera shake so bring up position keyframe that and actually you want to alt click on the stopwatch and you want to type wiggle and then what I found is pretty nice is six which means six times a second we want it to move about ten pixels and click away and then this will just kinda of shake the camera a little bit kinda of like that nice little vertigo effect and then that's basically it last thing we can do is just you know add a little curves color correction and I'll be using the same one as I did in my previous tutorial just do a tiny S curve for all the channels RGB red green but except for blue we do the S going up like that that gives us a nice little if you look at before and after I think it's a little better and it's gonna look like this and it's a little slow so what you can do is take your composition and drag that into a new composition and go to effect no nope, layer time enable time remapping so find the keyframe or, or the frame where you want it to end just about there and set a keyframe and then just drag that in and now basically take this frame and squish it and have all these frames a little faster Maybe there and it's gonna look like this kinda of dramatic you know but just mess around you can find the right effect you want and that's about it you guys thanks for watching comment and rate and subscribe and do all that cool stuff okay bye